Hey guys, welcome back. In today's video, we are doing AliExpress part two. So I want to do a little screen capture here to show you guys the exact link that I ordered off of and just kind of show you what all they had available here, which is quite a bit. So they do have a gel base coat as well as the black gel. And then you can get the colors in a variety. You can get them either with or without the magnetic stick. And then they do have a no white gel top coat. Now when you get these in the mail, they do not have instructions that come with them. But if you scroll down a ways on the link, you can find all the information and the instructions right there. So if you order them, I just recommend taking a screenshot so that you have those available. So I did go ahead and order one of the black gel polishes as well as four different colors and I did get the magnet for each color. So I have the four colors and four magnets. Um, I, when I ordered these, for some reason I did not notice that they had the base and top coat so I did not get those. Um, but I am just going to use my Model 1 base and gel top coat which ended up working just fine. Um, but here I'm just trying to open up each of the colors and try to show you guys what they look like. Um, it was kind of hard to get the color shift on camera. Um, camera lights seem to only pick up one color, so I couldn't really get the true color shift with those. Um, but instead of doing a photo reveal at the end, I'm going to do a video reveal so that you guys are able to see the true color shift that way. So the four colors that I got, um, the one kind of made me think of like mermaid type of color shift. It's like a blue to green. And then I got a pink to gold color, which is actually my favorite one. And then I accidentally got two different purple colors. Um, at least I didn't get two of the same. I thought that I got a blue, but I got two purples. <laughs> Um, like I said, I did get the black gel polish from them, so I'm going to use that and I'm going to use my regular black gel polish just because I want to see if it would work with a regular black gel. I wasn't sure if there was any magnetic particles in the Lily Cute one that I got from AliExpress. So I'm going to test this out with both the black gel that I got from them and the one that I already have. So as you can see, the magnet is double-sided. You get the circular magnet on the one end and the rectangular magnet on the other. Um, you can actually order off that link, just the rectangular magnets, not in the stick, um, which I actually ended up just popping the magnet out, um, which you can do that with the sticks too. You can just pop them in and out. I found that it was easier for me to work with it out of the stick. All right, so now that I've showed you everything that I got in from AliExpress, I'm going to move on to my gel application. I did go ahead and do a thin fill-in with my clear dip, and now I'm going to do a thin coat of my Model 1's gel base coat here, which I have edited most of that out of the video so that you guys don't have to sit through watching me do something that you've already seen me do before. So this is my black gel polish. This is the Sensationale brand of gel polishes that's available at Walmart. Um, I've been using this brand for years now and I've never had an issue with the Sensationale gel polishes. So I'm going to apply this to my pinky, my index, and my thumb, and then just kind of clean up as I go with a little brush. And my dampen dish here just has some alcohol in it. And then the Lily Cute polish I will do on my middle and my ring finger. I, of course, am doing two layers of each color of the black. Now the Sensationale, it's black with two coats. Um, 
The first coat is a little, you know, the typical black gel. You really need those sometimes two or three coats for it to be fully opaque and that rich black color. Um, but I am able to achieve that with the Sensation Now. So now I'm going to be applying the Lily Cute and I'm trying to keep this pretty thin just because of how thick the polish is. Like I said, it's a bit thicker than I'm used to. So I really took my time to try and get a thin amount on my brush. And I will say, I'm impressed with this black gel polish. It was pretty pigmented. Um, I honestly could have probably got away with just doing one coat of this black. If you could see the difference there. So I was really impressed with the pigmentation in this black polish, especially for it only being what, like a dollar and some change. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and do my two coats of black and then I will be back in a second to do the cat eye gels. So I wanted to just pop back in here real quick. I'm not sure if you guys noticed when I did my gel base and my first layer of color that I didn't cap my free edge. I do that intentionally. Um, for me, my nails chip and peel so much faster when I have that capped edge of gel base and two coats of color and then the top coat on there. Um, so I don't cap my base or my first coat of color and I only cap my second coat of color, maybe if I do a third, and then the top coat. Um, I know that what works for me may not work for everybody else. Everybody's, you know, body is different, produce a different amount of oils. Um, so for me, this is just what works best for me. So I'm going to go ahead and do my second coats of color and I've cured that for 60 seconds and now I'm going to go in with this first cat eye gel here and try to get the thinnest amount as I can just because of like I said how thick they were and then I will just apply that as normal and I did go ahead and cap this just because when you're doing the magnet you can you can kind of see where you left off if you don't cap them and I'm not gonna lie I made mistakes well not really mistakes I would get a design and then I'd go and mess with it more and then it would end up messing it up <laughs> so I did edit out a good amount of that but for this now I did keep it in just to show you guys how easy it is to kind of fix your issues but you can really do it with any gel polish that's the wonderful thing about gel is you can mess with it forever and until you cure it it's not going to dry on you or anything like that so when i have my cat eye gel the way that i want I don't know why I spent so long doing the, <laughs> doing the color on this one now. I was trying to get it to show up on camera for you guys. Color shifts are really hard to pick up on camera. So now I'm going to go in and just do the regular diagonal traditional cat eye design. 
and you don't want to hold it too close to your nail because you don't want it to touch but the closer you are able to get with it um, the more visible your design is going to be and of course I had to go back in and mess with it more <laughs> and I didn't like how it turned out so now I'm just going to take my brush and take all the product off because we still have all that gel polish and it's just the magnet that just moves the color around so you just go back in pretty much with a dry brush and just redistribute the color over your nail just like so and I'm just cleaning up where any gel gets on my skin and now I will go in again as you guys can see I'm getting as close as I possibly can but not touching so I went ahead and I cured that for 30 seconds just to give it kind of a flash cure and that is what that one looks like but I wanted to see if I could kind of build up because I want to just do another little diagonal line underneath of that so that is what I am going to go ahead and do really quickly just applying a little bit more gel and now I've taken my magnet out of the stick and I'm just going to move it from bottom to top you kind of have to play around with these I did keep the other magnet out because I took a second and looked up online um, and it said you take two magnets put them together and when they attract because you know there's one sides where they attract and then if you turn them around you get that resistance so if you do it with the side that attracts towards your nail it'll push the polish upward into the design that you want so for my second nail here I'm doing that pink and gold and I'm going to try and create kind of that black hole effect here so I'm going to push on both sides and then move it down and then move it up and you want to make sure you're using that attracted side of the magnet when you're doing this and this is my favorite one that one turns out to be my favorite design so I went ahead and I cured that one for 30 seconds as well I'm obsessed with that one I show it off so much in this video <laughs> I'm gonna end up doing a whole set of just that and now this one that I'm going to do next is the darker shade of purple that I got in this one I'm going to do on my pinky finger you guys I'm really impressed with these polishes and how long they lasted I did actually have them on for about five days um, before I just got bored and wanted to redo my nails I didn't have any peeling or chipping or anything my one and only complaint is these bottles I get that they're you know small bottles and they're 5 mls I get that but I have other bottles of gel polish that have the same amount of product in them but they're not tubes they're regular bottles um, so that's my one and only complaint so for this design I wanted to use that circular side of the magnet just to show you guys you know what you can do with both magnets that you get and so I did that little circular line thing and I go ahead and cure that and then I'm doing one more thin coat and trying to do the magnet in the opposite way and I'm not gonna lie to you it kind of looks like fish <laughs> kind of looks like a fish but this was just me playing around I've never done the cat eyes on myself I've gotten them done tons of times when I was getting my nails done in the salon so this one here is the mermaid ish 
color and this one I'm doing the black hole on also just because I don't know it's so simple but I think that's my favorite favorite design it's just so cool looking so I'm going ahead and doing that one to my thumb so obviously doing the gel polishes the cat eye it does take a little bit longer just because you do need to cure each finger individually as soon as you're done because if not those magnets will kind of spread back out over time so I wouldn't do more than one nail at a time with the cat eye I did end up testing it out later on after I did this video um, yeah and it dispersed quite a bit so doing one nail at a time is the way to go but you can do quick little like 20 30 second flash cures which is what I did just to get the design to stay in place and then when you're done you can go in and fully cure all of them see I keep showing off that middle finger one <laughs> so now for my index finger I wanted to do all four of the colors on one so I'm just going to apply each color and then just do that diagonal design with the magnet. So here I'm just going in with my first color, one of the purple shades. And then this one I'm going to do the magnet pretty close up. And then I will give that a quick cure, quick little flash cure. And then I will go in with my second color and do the same thing. And I will just keep continuing this on until I've used all four of the colors. So I will let you guys watch me finish the cat eye design on this nail and I will be back in a bit. Alright, so my last nail is all done and completed with all four of the cat eye colors that I got. And I did go ahead when I was finished that finger and I cured my whole hand for a full 60 seconds. And that is how that one turned out. And now I will go in with my Model Ones gel top coat and just apply a thin layer of my top coat to all of my nails and of course capping my free edge. So you guys are going to just have to let me know what you think. Do you guys like the cat eye polishes? Do you like any of the designs I did? Which one is your favorite? Me, I love the middle and the thumb. I think that the black hole-ish, I think that's what they call it, the black hole design is just so cool 
I was literally just sitting there like every day and just wiggling my finger and staring at it. <laughs> to me, it was so neat. But I'm just going to finish up top coating these and I will be right back. So here is my finished Manny, all top coated and cured. You guys are gonna have to let me know what you guys think of this. I have my dragon scales I'm gonna do on that hand, so stay tuned for that. And here is my reveal video, so you guys can see the different color shifts. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed watching this, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.